Hello guys, DTX720 here. Um, uh, 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 we're back with another episode of Pokemon Sword. Um, it's been a minute since I've uploaded another episode. Um, I don't know what it is, man. Hellacious this month. I wanted to do so much good recording, but freaking, uh, man, um, first of all, I've been doing a whole lot of overtime for the holidays, um, at work. My, my job makes me do like overtime during the holiday season because of like transportation and, and it's you know at Amazon so yeah you, you you get it a lot of people order stuff during Christmas time so they need a lot of people to be there to get all that stuff out during the Christmas time um that's the reason why I haven't uploaded very frequently and another reason is I don't know why but every single time I try to do I record this game man something messes up I realize that Episode 1 and Episode 2 of this Let's Play both have no no sound. No no sound whatsoever, and I have no clue why, and it's very annoying. But we're going to get right into it, and, um, yeah. So, first of all, we're going to give a little team, uh, team demonstration. So, there was an episode in between this. Um, I'm here in the town, in the town where the water gym is. And I had literally recorded a video um, where I went through route, you know, all the way from like route two or three or four or whatever it is, and got and went all the way through and got into this town and some of my Pokemon evolved and everything. And then, so much for that, the recording was messed up, so I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, it works out this time. I don't know, have to keep recording this again, but. Let me show you a quick rundown of our team at the moment. Uh, Boltund, our little Yamper evolved into a Boltund. There he is. We got Corvusquire. We got th little Thwacky. We got our Sizzlepeed. Our Choodle evolved into Dreadnought, and he is so cool. I really love Dreadnought. And we have Little Dotler still. Right now, we do have two bug types, but they're both really good bug types in this game. All of the bug types of this game are really solid. Um... Yeah, so let's get right into it. Let's, uh, we're gonna, I've already messed around in this town off camera and went into all the houses, talked to everybody, done everything I needed to do pretty much. Um, caught some new Pokemon that I missed in between routes. So we're gonna go right into the gym and we're gonna do it, man. We're gonna start this uh, this episode off doing our gym, the gym battle. We're gonna go right for it. What is this? This shop? I don't want any of this. Whoa, look at these uniforms, bro. Okay, well, we're not buying any of those. We're gonna not mess around as much as possible. Oh, hello. Yes, I want to leave. Thank you. Okay. I want to fight. Wait. Wait, not yet. Let me make sure I have the right person in front. So pretty much Sizzlepeed is not is not fighting this fight. It's mainly going to be these three right here that are going to be taking on the water types. And I'm going to leave it up to Boltund. I'm going to leave it up to our friend Boltund. And if not, I'm going to leave it up to Corvusquire or Thwacky. Thwack. Everybody's pretty, pretty high leveled at the moment. So we shouldn't have any problems with the, uh, shouldn't have any problems whatsoever, you know, fighting the gym leader at the moment because I think we're going to be higher level than her. The Nessa, I believe her name is. Nessa? Going into the water gym. Ah, uh, this is the one that a lot of us have seen already due to the E3. Let's hope we can get through this puzzle quickly. Um. What's up, dude? The whole bar of Pokemon gym and the mission is this. A challenging maze. You must reach each goal and clear the mission. However, the paths of the maze are blocked by water. What should you do then? Try pressing the red button and then uh, fill your tramp. Okay. Let the gym challenge begin. Okay, let's go. So that one's blocking the path, so we're gonna have to fight this lady. It's good themes in here. And they all got dive balls. That's a really cool touch. I really, I think it's cool how they uh, gave like personalization to a lot of 
a lot of character character a couple Pokemon games. Um, bring a spark. Should take them out pretty easily. They gave a lot of personalization to the some good personalities personalization to a lot of the trainers, giving them a uh, like unique Pokeballs and such. It's just small details like that that are so cool about games, because of course at the water water gym they would have the they have the dive balls, you know what I mean? And now I gotta go back over here and click this one again. Nice. Now let's go this way. Well, I might as well come through here. Hello. Heather. Come Heather, Heather, with your crabby. <laughs> Heather has crabs. Anyway. <laughs> Immaturity aside, let's destroy this crabby with a nice nuzzle. Nuzzle probably won't kill him. I don't know why I just used nuzzle. I should have used spark. What the hell am I thinking? Well, I got a paralyzed, so maybe he won't touch me now. No, he hit me with whirlpool. Aha, I avoided it. Good evasiveness. Bolt hand. Really nice evasiveness. <clears throat> Corefish. Corefish. You're also going to feel the wrath of Bolt hand. With a nice sparky spark. He'll one shot you. What is my cat doing? I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but my cat is making a lot of, of a ruckus. Making a hell of a ruckus over there. She's messing with the door. You know those things on uh, on the bottom of doors that, uh, that go vroom? You know that? Um, yeah, it, uh, my cat likes playing with them. It's super annoying, especially when I'm doing some recordings and when I'm doing, uh, when I'm trying to, you know, do the, do the sleeping and whatnot. It is pretty obnoxious, to say the least. So that's this one. I believe that's good, of what I need. Okay, let's fight this, this girly. She looks like she's in need of of a good fighting. Lynn sends out a rummer raid. I like putting on that announcer voice. I think I've used it a couple times in this already, but there's so many. Um, I've kind of over the past while, because Sword and Shield's been out for a long time now, almost like um, it's been out for like a full month at this point, maybe like month and a half. So much, so much so that it's like, uh, I've, I've already spoiled myself when it comes to the entire Pokedex and everything, so many people have already made content about it, and I'm a little late to the party, but hey, it's better late than ever. Playing through Pokemon Sword, man. Um, where was I getting at? I cannot remember. Still new to this. I'm still new to this Let's Play stuff, man. It's hard for me to, to concentrate! Concentrate, damn you! Um, so, what I was saying was Pokemon Sword and Shield, I've seen everything that's in the game at this point. Other than story, I haven't spoiled myself on any of the story beats or anything like that, but I've seen all the Pokemon. Wait, should I not turn that on? Wait a second, what am I trying to do here? I don't... Yeah, why do I have that on? I don't need that on. Or do I? Do I need that on? No. Ooh, this is tricky. Wait, so that's down now. Oh, okay. So, wait. Oh, wait. Alright. Ideas, ideas. Let's, let's click this. Okay. Now we're gonna come over here. 
Actually, no, that's not gonna work. How intriguing. What will I do? Let me go down here and let me see if this is the right solution to the, to the problem. So that is all open now. Is there any area that I missed? My cat... God dang you, cat. Why is now the time that you decide to go crazy, dude? Okay. So is there any point to turning this yellow switch on? What would, what would be the point of that? Wait. Wait. Okay. Look, I'm getting something here. Yes. Yes. I figured it out. I have done it. Let us progress and let us get into the stadium and fight her. I believe her name's Nessa. I could be wrong. Yeah. I believe her name is Nessa. If I'm mistaken, I apologize. Cat, I swear I will end your existence. Don't make me take your fun things away from you. I won't do that. I love you, cat. But I don't prefer you bouncing off the walls in the middle of my recording. Yes, son of a... Yes, son of a gun. Your name is Nessa. Hello, beautiful. I, I, she's she's a really attractive woman. I don't want to try to voice her because I'm gonna make it less attractive. <laughs> Nessa, you are challenged by gym leader Nessa. Gym leader Nessa sends out Goldine. Boltund responds. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna wait until she brings out hers because I don't think she's gonna use it on Goldine, is she? Let us spark the Goldeen. Do I spark your fancy Goldeen? Instant. Instantaneous death. What level is Bolton? Oh my gosh. 26. And what is she, level 22? Aracuda. I'm gonna keep battling. Bolton is gonna be able to do this all by himself. There's a little Aracuda. Are you gonna jike uh, Dynamax? Aracuta? Aquajet. Okay, I hurt me a little with Aquajet. But you're getting sparked. You're getting lit up. Lit up. Just pull out the clapper on you. Lit up. Sorry, that was a loud clap. I hope that didn't blow out your jump. Oh, she's sending out Dread now. Hmm. Let us... Let us go into Thwacky. Because we'll double kill Dreadnought because of the rock typing. Um, he's double weak to grass. Four, four times effective. Been saving my best for last. Dreadnought. Oh, yeah, I have one of those. Okay, cool. Actually, we're not even that much uh, overleveled. Let's use Max Overgrow. Let us Dynamax on her. Let's finish this. Let us end this. With the big thwack. Oh, yeah. Big thwack. How do you like these big sticks in super mode? Uh oh, you're gonna die Max Dreadnought. Dead. 
get some big dreadnought. Oh wow, that's so cool. So I didn't really know how I felt about Dynamaxing uh, when trailers were first revealed. But uh, I like it more than I, I thought I was. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Just seeing them, seeing big kaiju sized Pokemon. You know, that Dreadnought's literally Godzilla, and that Dreadnought literally got one shot. Bam! That was easy. Take your little Dreadnought back to where it came from. Take it back to preschool. Your Chutal was poorly trained. And so, thus your Dreadnought is as well. Because they it evolved into Dreadnought. Ah, you get it. Yeah! We have beaten her! How can this be? <laughs> Never. Now that I've battled you, I think I understand. Continue the seize to victory of the gym challenge in your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be enough, be strong enough to challenge the champion. Oh, thank you. I am deserving of it. Thank you for the good handshake, Nessa. And then we got the water badge. Yeah, baby. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. Next, you'll challenge the fire gym. Okay. Yeah, I definitely down right now. Alrighty. Cool. What TM do I get? TM 36 Whirlpool. Cool. Hell yeah. And I got the water uniform. Nice. Cool. Um, let me uh, talk to this guy, see if he has anything. What do you have? You don't really have anything that great. Um. Alright, man. Thank you, though. Thanks, anyway. Alrighty, guys. Let's, let's get on the move. Let's keep going. Oh, oh yeah. Do not keep the chairman waiting at the chairman's table. Do not get the card. Rose League card. We got chairman Rose's League card. Okay, we're gonna go to the, ch the seafood restaurant. We are heading to the sea, to the seafood restaurant. Talk to Chairman Rose. Hello, little thing. Okay, well, let's just go right up there and... Hello. Please be seated. Oh, we're celebrating my victory at a little seafood restaurant, eh? Holbury is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, its obvious choice would be local cuisine. Everything is on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia going on? I quite... In 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 embedded in, 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 indebted to her now. <laughs> she was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power of Dynamaxing Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <laughs> we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's cause her. It's causing some her work. Ugh, causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when we started traveling. Power spot detector? That's the device that allows for locations that emit gather particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like to hear Professor Magnolia's worried. Sonia. It may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secret of Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. 
Understood, Chairman. I will arrange the meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we, go we get going, Chairman. Hmm? But I hardly had a chance to speak to DTX. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present, after all. In that case, I bid you a farewell. Alrighty, man. Thanks. He doesn't think he's doing me a favor. He's right. The vault would be a great place to look for the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Def defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Oh, I got another TM? Retaliate. Alright, I got TM Retaliate. Cool. Till next time, Jim Challenger. Alrighty. Well, uh, in this in this pretty old uh, uh, seafood restaurant, um, oh, like that picture of that nice crabby with the bubbles and everything. Hey, be quiet. I'm talking over here and you're just making a lot of noise. Hey, you. Chef, man. I want a vodka martini shaken, not stirred. Shaken, not stirred. That's pretty good Sean Connery voice, isn't it? All right, everybody. We're going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been DTX. Stay tuned.